All right, well, hello. We are here for our annual Leon County Junior Master Gardener Onion Contest. This year, our three schools that participated in our Junior Master Gardener Onion Contest were Buffalo, Centerville, and Oakwood. So yeah, a round of applause for all of y'all students. A fantastic job. We'll be uh, measuring and uh, crowning our winners here shortly. You know, this is what our fourth, third, fourth year. This contest has been going on for, for several years yes. amongst the Junior Master Gardener groups here in Leon County. It's a, it's a fun competition between the schools and, and it's a way to really learn some of those principles of gardening, uh, the importance of getting out and, and, you know, and eating fresh veg and healthy vegetables. You know, with our Junior Master Gardener program, our Junior Master Gardener program, and several objectives for that program, it's to engage young people in hands-on group and individual learning experiences that provide a love of gardening, develop an appreciation for the environment, and help to cultivate the mind. Another objective is to inspire young people to be of service to others through service learning and leadership development projects and to reward those young people with certification and recognition. And all of the young people that have participated in the Leon County Junior Master Gardener Program are receiving uh, certificates, uh, level one, level two certificates, uh, uh, indicating that they are certified as Junior Master Gardeners. And the third objective is for young people to explore their world through meaningful horticultural and environmental science activities that encourage leadership development personal pride, responsibility, and community involvement. So congratulations to all of our schools for, for participating in the Junior Master Gardener program. Uh, but you know, this, the Junior Master Gardener program would not be possible without the help and the assistance of our Master Gardener volunteers uh, that, that work with the schools, work with the teachers in, in teaching those Junior Master Gardener principles uh, and, and, and concepts. So I've got with me today, I've got two of our Master Gardeners here with me. I've got Mr. Greg Pitts and Mr. Pitts works with Buffalo and Centerville. And I've also got Miss Carlene Brand, and Carlene works with the Oakwood Schools. So they're, they're here today to make sure that we get these onions measured correctly. Also would like to uh, pay also recognition to uh, Miss Jamel Pearson. Jamel works with the JMG group in Centerville. Miss uh, Dorothy Malone, who works with the JMG group in Oakwood. And uh, Miss Kathleen Buchanan, who works with some of the JMG groups in Buffalo. None of this would be possible without them. And as we're extending words of thanks, we also need to thank Dixondale Farms out of Carrizo Springs, because they are the ones that graciously donated all of the onion sets for this contest. So we, we appreciate those. Uh, all of those that make make the JNG possible prog uh, program possible in Leon County. Now, we have a traveling trophy that goes to the school that has grown the biggest onion. So this uh, the past year, the trophy was in Buffalo. Buffalo. Yes, Buffalo. So Buffalo was wanting to win their trophy back, but we'll see. Will, is Buffalo going to get the trophy this year, or will it go to one of the other schools? Well, let's, let's find out. We're going to measure these onions. And the way we're going to measure the onions is we're going to take the onion and we're going to use this set of calipers. And we're going to find the widest part of the onion and we're going to measure the onion. And there's a reading on the caliper that will tell us how large that onion is. So we're going to measure those onions and the school that had the largest onion is going to win the Junior Master Gardener Onion Trophy for this year. So we're just going to go alphabetically, starting with, with Buffalo. So Buffalo has submitted their onion. We're going to open the bag. And so uh, unwrap, unwrap that Buffalo onion. <clears throat> so using our calipers, we're going to find the widest part on this onion. And it looks like for Buffalo, three and a quarter inches. So 3.25 inches for buffalo. Good job on that onion buffalo. Good job on raising those. So let's see. Next up, as we go alphabetically, we've got Centerville. So the score to beat or the size to beat is three and a quarter inches. So as we look at the Centerville onion, a little bit bigger, we're going to measure that Centerville onion. Find that widest part of the onion. 
comes to four inches. If y'all like to come and verify, four inches for the Centerville onion. So good job, Centerville. Uh, so far, y'all are in the lead. But we've got one onion left to measure. So we're gonna go to the Oakwood onion. They brought this onion in a wheelbarrow this morning because they said it was so big and heavy. So as we pull out our Oakwood onion, let's see, we've got our Oakwood onion. And as we're measuring, trying to find the widest point. It is a little bigger than four inches. It's not quite four and a quarter, but it is four and one eighth inches. So as we look at our results and as we go back over, <laughs> Buffalo had an onion that was three and a quarter inches in size. Centerville's onion was four inches. Oakwood's onion was four and an eighth inches. So it looks like our traveling trophy this year will go to Oakwood Elementary School. Congratulations, Oakwood, on winning. Yeah, give them, give them a, a big hand. Give them a, now, if I'm not mistaken, I, I believe there was a little wager, a little bet on the table that if Oakwood was to win the big onion contest, that Mr. Pitts would have to go to Oakwood and have a bucket of cold water poured over his head or something. Well, something similar. Something similar to that. So uh, we look forward to seeing pictures of Mr. Pitts taking a bath in Oakwood. Congratulations to all of our junior Master Gardener participants. Fantastic job this year with the onions. Y'all have done a super job. Continue growing, not only growing out in the garden, but continue growing those young minds and growing into productive young adults. Congratulations. Congratulations to Oakwood. Y'all have a fantastic summer.